Wilson! Shut up. Are you all relaxed? You can wake up now. What a lovely start that was. Today, guys, we're testing an iron that I've been dying, absolutely dying to hit. If you just murmur the word staff model, oh, you get a little bit of a shiver down your back. So we tested the staff model blade. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely stunning. It was a while back now, actually, but trust me, I've never forgotten about it. Today, we turn our heads to the Wilson staff model, CB. It's one of those videos, again, where I could just stand here doing this. So this iron design and concept is inspired by the Wilson Staff V6 irons. Another iron I've never hit, but I've heard a lot about and very, very good things. But you know, as soon as Wilson stick staff model on an iron, you know they mean business. Tell you one thing's for sure, they know how to design pretty heads. And no, they didn't design me, but thanks. So that opening shot finished three foot away. It's gonna be hard to beat that. Oh, is it? I didn't need this. Look at those two flashing red. Three foot two, four foot nine. Average three foot 11 away from the hole in those two shots. I don't wanna hit any more because we might ruin it. A few moments later. Hey, and he ruins it. So it's not unusual to have a CB and an MB model in a better player's range of heads. The MB is like the forbidden fruit. You really want it, it looks amazing. It probably tastes fantastic. But unless you can stomach it, you might be sick. But then we get to the CB, which is trying to do very much the same thing in terms of visuals, but we've got a little bit more help. Shaping wise, if you want the better player look, you've got it. Thin top line, a lovely little rounded toe section, minimal offset, hardly any. It's just a piece. A uh, bit more on the toey side, but look at that flight. So guys, we've got the seven iron, which sits at 34 degrees. And I'm hitting this new shaft that I've never tested before, and it feels really nice, the Demo. I strongly recommend. From a player sort of iron, you want to expect an experience when you hit the shot. Lovely feeling sound, and that is exactly what we're getting. Again, a hugely hugely underrated iron. So even though this is natural enough to be sculptured out of a rock, it's still got a bit of lip filler, a little bit of, you know, the odd tweet to give us that little bit more, a bit more beauty and a bit more oomph at impact. Oomph. This includes 20 grams of high density tungsten, which is situated in the toe, which again naturally pulls that CG away from the hosel, thank goodness, and improves the iron's stability. So to really mimic that muscle back feel, we've got that forged A620 steel face, but we've also got an impact mass area that's situated right behind the hitting area, gives us that lovely feel and obviously consistency on shots, which to be honest with you, is right up there in my opinion. <laughs> It's just consistency is what I like so much about these kind of irons. If you hit it in a similar place on the face, everything will be the same. Trajectory, distance, carry, peak height, all of it. I do feel like this kind of iron is in a little bit of danger with what's going off in other categories of irons. We've got player's distance iron, so it's trying to do this but give us more distance, slightly stronger lofts. But if you want a little bit more, just a little bit more forgiveness than that of a muscle back, a bit more easier on the eye in terms of confidence inspiring it to dress, at a dress, not in a dress, you're getting the majority of the muscle back benefits. Again, that lovely little warm hug of strikes that don't necessarily hit the center, but you definitely know about it in terms of feedback. I love that. If you don't hit the center of the iron, you will know about it on a cold rainy night in Stoke. Trust me. Oh! The bonus of hitting off of a mat. Oh, I did not deserve that to be there. Sorry, I might apologize. 
I ain't apologising to nobody. As soon as you just don't quite get it, that makes no sense. Um, you can tell. Blindfold challenge, I reckon I could tell you where this is going out of on the face. It's literally shouting at you. Toe! Hi Toe! How's all? Well sad. I love this club. It just feels so buttery. So there'll be many people that say, okay, compare this to like for like in another brand. The good thing about this sort of stuff is we're lucky with big brands like Wilson. Anyone that's got these sort of irons do their own little touch on it, I suppose. People will be like, compare this to a Mira, compare this to a Mizuna, compare this to a TaylorMade or a Callaway equivalent. And it's all different feel-wise and it's going to come down to you on the day of which you prefer the visuals of. Because man, they know what they're doing. This is the bit that gets me really excited. That excited. This is all green. None of this is Mr. Green from 180. It's emotional. Say this is the bit that gets me excited. I love seeing this. Like you could put an elastic band around that. It's just such a lovely window of trajectory coming down, consistent. Like I say, hit it in the same spot, similar swing. It's not like you're gonna get a flyer or something crazy. It's just gonna go same, 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 same. Boring. The numbers can really do one, I don't care. <laughs> and you shouldn't really, if you're going for this sort of iron, as long as you're not losing stupid amounts of distance and you need the distance, that's something you're gonna be pretty concerned about. But you're gonna be getting spin, you're gonna be getting the launch, you're gonna be getting the descent angle. It feels great. We've got this lovely consistent window here. Lovely window. But uh, 130.3 ball, 20.3 degrees of launch, 176 carry, 7,000 the best part of, 6,975 on the spin, 180 total. So yes, I could get another iron, gain another 20 yards. Do I need it? No. Did I enjoy that? Oh, a lot. I, I, I've been loving Wilson on the channel. Um, it's been a long time coming, but now I've started to filter this sort of stuff in. Thankfully, Golf Box is now stocking it, so I've got the ability to be able to review it. Happy days. So guys, stick with us if you want to see the all-important shot shaping challenge just after this, because there are many clubs that I've done it with all the way through without making any mistakes, but that's me, not the club, of course. For everybody else, seriously, give this a go if you're in the market for this kind of iron. Stick it in, give it a whack. Tell me what you think in the comment section. That's the best part, because these have been out a while now. You guys have either got these in the bag, you've tested them yourselves. Stick in the comment section, let us know your experiences. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not a part of Team Al and like the content, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm live streaming on Twitch. Let's go. Shot shaping challenge, boy. We've got a lovely little approach shot here, 122 yards, slightly uphill. Should be the perfect club if I can give it a bit more. We're starting off with a high draw, then low draw, high fade, low fade, straight shot, and then stinger. These are the kind of irons that you want in your hand when you're trying to do a challenge like this. So there's no excuses, apart from if there's anything that goes wrong, it's not my fault. Not a bad high draw start, that. The low shots are going to be difficult to get it to because of uh, the elevation, but we'll, we'll give it a good old, uh, good old crack. That's kind of drawing. It's a lovely shot. Definitely take it. Is that drawing? Oh yeah, easy ones out of the way. Now, for the hard stuff. Uh, nearly missed that. Is that left of the line? Oh, I feel like I'm going to need, need a referee's decision. Okay, we're analysing footage. Can I get a closer look, please? Yeah, um, that started right of the line. Sorry, uh -huh. shot does not count. What? This is a joke. <sighs> Suppose we'll do it again then, won't we? Oh, 
Oh, that is, if that's fading, that is so good. Oh, please. No! It's drawing again, but these are, these are just special. It would if it hit the green. So annoying. <laughs> right. Golf shot. Straight right. I was looking so dirty, that was. Oh, yes, please. 